Hi, I'm Scott from Waterlinked, and I'd like to help you get started setting up the Underwater GPS G2 system, known as the UGPS, when used with the Blue Robotics Blue Rov 2 running on Blue OS. For instructions regarding the mechanical installation, please follow the links in the video description below. Let's look at the parts we're going to use. First, we have the top side with an open ended power cable to attach to a suitable power supply, an antenna with the RAM mount attached for easy and secure installation the A1 locator to fit onto the ROV, and finally the Blue Rov 2 integration kit. You'll also need a few Blue Robotics parts. Find the details about them in the video description below. Now we're going to install the Waterlinked UGPS extension for Blue OS. Make sure you're running Blue OS 1.1 or later and have a valid Wi-Fi connection. Find and enable pirate mode from the menu, like this. Next, choose Version Checker from the menu and find the Remote Versions section. Select the latest release by clicking Download and Apply. Be patient, this might take some time. When the update is done, switch to the Extension Manager and click on the Waterlinked UGPS extension. In the dialog that appears, make sure the version is 1.06 or higher. Click Install. The extension appears in the Install tab and you're ready to go. Once outside, unfold the antenna. Make sure not to trap the cable when locking the clips. Securely mount it to the side of the dock. Next, connect the antenna cable to the top side and connect it to the Blue Rov 2 FXTI box. We recommend using a USB 3 port on your computer to ensure sufficient power delivery when connecting to the FTXI box. With the physical setup complete, open Blue OS and UGPS in your browser. Switch to the UGPS tab in your browser. You'll notice there is no connection with the locator. This is expected because the ROV is not in the water yet. However, we do have to set up the antenna heading on the UGPS before we go any further. When using a fixed installation such as we have here on the jetty, we simply enter a compass heading based on the left leg of the antenna. In this case, the heading is 185 degrees. Within the setup page of the UGPS and under the top side setup, select static for top side heading and enter 185. The top side provides your current GPS position. However, if you're operating in an area with bad GPS reception, you can also set the top side position to static and enter your longitude and latitude. Finally, Switch to the Blue OS tab in your browser and verify that the UGPS extension is running. Open Q Ground Control and verify that data from the UGPS is arriving. This is shown as GPS lock, HDOP and VDOP in the panel at the bottom. When HDOP and VDOP are showing numbers, the connection to UGPS is good. GPS lock will show none until the ROV is in the water. Once you have GPS lock, this will change to 3D lock. After you've made the typical pre-launch checks for the ROV, you can launch the ROV into the water. Straight away we see the UGPS has picked up the A1 locator on the ROV and we can now track the ROV as it moves away from the jetty. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at